I have an iPhone 8 here with no display. I confirm that there is no Apple logo on the screen uh, by shining a flashlight on it. And first thing, well, first thing I did was I just plug it into an ammeter. That's almost always the first thing I do, and it looked like it was powering up. It's getting about pulling about one amp on the ammeter. Um, maybe I can show you guys what the ammeter looks like. I mean, I've done it in previous videos, but doesn't always show up. Uh, People don't always watch the other videos. That's a problem. So that's why we created the course. It's because this might be the first encounter with this channel, and you have no idea what I did before, and um, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You probably don't even know what a USB ammeter is. So, and I can't do it every. I can't show you what I do every time. Otherwise, it'd just be way too time consuming. So. What is you? I'll do it in this video though. This is going to be a short video. So when I say I plug it into a USB ammeter, this is one of the USB ammeters that we use, and it's basically uh, this is not even plugged. Is it plugged in? No, it's not plugged in. Okay, there it is. USB ammeter. Oh, battery's not plugged in, so let's plug the battery in and then we'll plug it in without the screen and I'll show you guys. You can kind of quickly, without even opening the phone, you can kind of tell if it's booting or not. And, and basically, if it pulls around one amp uh, after a few seconds, then you know it's booting. You know, this is the normal boot process. So, as you can see, 0.95 amps, that's about normal. So, so I can quickly say, okay, the phone is fine, and then what I do is I shine a flashlight on the screen, see if I can see a backlight or not. I don't see a backlight, then it's a display system uh, problem, and then and then we go from there. That's it, pretty simple. So now it's a display problem. So I say, okay, what's wrong with the um, display? Yeah, I troubleshoot the display system. This is gonna be a quick video uh, because I already know what's wrong with it. So one of the most common things is, well, I can see this already, so that's not good. Um, but this is this is the actually the this is actually the um, home button connector, so that, that really sucks right there too. Um, might have to replace this connector. It sucks. I'd rather not have to do that, but if I have to do it, then I will. Yeah, I may have to do it. Unrelated problem. But I'm going to try to fix it real quick. And then I'll get back to, this, to the display problem, because that's another issue. Where's my little pick at? There it is. I got one pick here that I use for these little things, and uh, this I use this thing often actually. So one of the problems is breaking this thing. So I really don't want to break it, uh, but it needs to be lifted up a little bit at least. So they smashed a few times. Looks like. This whole connector is actually smashed. This sucks. I'd rather not have to deal with this issue. Alright, so maybe I can get it to work. I don't know. But I know that this cannot be smashed and it will not work if it's smashed like this. So. But if I break this pin, it's game over. Um. So I'm gonna try not to break it. It definitely needs to be lifted up just a little bit. So, so let's just lift it up. If it breaks, it breaks. Oh well, I just have to replace it. Uh, but if I can save them from doing this, then we're good. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't even know if the home button works at this point. But I'm assuming no. Well, this is not going too well. Because it's probably going to break at some point. I keep lifting like that. I mean, I think this one's okay, but this one, probably, maybe. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Okay, I'll leave it like that. 
Okay, let's go back to the no no display problem. So notice, the, so this is the LCD backlight connector right here, and everything looks fine. I mean, what I'd look for is I look for these this row of pins on the inside. Uh, if any of these are pushed in or not, and they all look like they're protruding just a little bit, so that's all fine. And the next thing I do is I take a little isopropyl alcohol and swab this right here. It's just 99% isopropyl alcohol. I'll wait like two seconds, and then I lift. I've already taken it off, but as you can see, there's a connect. There's a little thing that's broke, that's gone right there, that's pried off the board. So that is that right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say 100% that that is probably a display line. Uh, so I don't normally even look at ZXW when I see that. I just put it back and assume that, yes, yeah, most likely a display line. So let's not worry about what it does at this point. You can, you can kind of go back and look if you want. Um, but ZXW, ZXW Tools doesn't have the lines for the iPhone 8, so we're just going to leave it be. And then we're just going to put this back. So, So let's just take this right here. Let's reuse this since it's good. Let's just take actually taken off with a pry tool. I don't know why Apple decided to do this again, but well, it's, it's usually on the iPhone 8. It's usually like it's usually these these right here, are these little transistors for the battery that that are pried off. Not not the um not these little things right here. But even still, I mean. They 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 did this in the five and the and the, and then like they did it in the five five s and stuff like or whatever yeah five 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 s and uh, there were a lot of problems with it I mean people were replacing batteries and and they jacked up the connect uh, those those components all the time and then so they kind of did went away with it from the six series and up and then now they're kind of like back to it you know. Stupid, but whatever. I mean, it keeps uh, it's good for us, I guess, but uh, not good for the DIY community, which Apple seems to not really give a shit about. So, if you have problems doing this, then you probably don't have the right tools to do it. Um, that's it's simply put. I mean, I have 0.1 millimeter tips here on a JBC NSE, NASE 1B and without this I would have a hard time doing it even though I've been doing this for so long so you really just need the right tools and it just makes life a lot easier so that's it right there um someone's calling hold on so where was I I don't know, even know um okay so I guess just clean this up right Clean it up. Okay, that's it. I think that should be it. Okay, so now you can see the battery symbol. So the display is working, but the battery is discharged. So and it doesn't look like there's a backlight issue because the ba the battery symbol is fully bright. So I'm gonna say this one's done, uh, and then we just move on to the next one. So iPhone 8 black screen display. If you want to learn how to do this, this is probably one of the easiest easier jobs. I'm not gonna say easiest. <laughs> uh, easier jobs. Uh, so if you want to learn more, buy the course. Thanks for watching. So I just wanted to say thank you for watching this channel. And I wanted to promote our online micro soldering course. Um, we have it hosted at udemy.com. And it's at this point it's four hours of video instruction. Um, the reviews are pretty good. Um, and we talk about everything from the basics uh, of, of an iPhone logic board um, and then we have a section on ZXW tools um, we have a little section about how to set up your hot air rework station your micro soldering um, station and how to use diode mode uh, the third part is the three most common repairs which is no touch no backlight no charge and the fourth part is all about data recovery so 
Um, if you go through our website, it's a hundred bucks. And some people say that learning online is not the best way of doing things, or you can't learn micro soldering online. I beg to differ. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I started watching YouTube videos when I first started about three years ago, and that's how I learned it. Um, and not only that, but you know, you go to a live course. Some people like live courses, but not everybody has three thousand dollars to spend on a live course, right? So, um, and then yes, you're right. You can go to YouTube and watch all these videos, um, but you're not gonna. When people make these videos, they don't go from A to Z. They usually start from somewhere in the middle because they assume that you watched something earlier on, or one of their earlier videos. So this course is all-encompassing. It has everything from A to Z um, to help you get started in micro-soldering, and we are adding stuff um, on a weekly, maybe monthly basis. And we're, we're gonna just gonna keep adding to this thing. And um, so if you want to get started, just I mean, you could also take a class, but, uh, you know, to get your feet wet, I think this is the best thing to do right here. And I vouch for it. Um, thanks for watching the video. I was also going to say, um, in order to buy it with a discount, $50 discount, just go to microsoldering.com, click on store, and then it's going to be the first item on here. You click on buy at Udemy, and that'll give you the $50 off. Thanks.